This matte screen protector feels just like paper. None of the others even come close. Tony here, we talk art and design tech. Consider subscribing. No exaggeration, this matte screen protector is a sketchbook. It is paper. I can't believe they made plastic feel like this. It's amazing, links below. You're welcome. The paper feel that Paper Like advertises is delivered with Belmond. The Belmond Kent Paper Matte Screen Protector priced at $20.99 for the 12.9 sized iPad Pro. It's said to reduce pen tip wear by up to 86% and display noise by 50%. The packaging was also a good quality. It honestly made me excited about using this screen protector. One downside was the scotch tape at the top and the bottom of the package, so you may have to grab a box cutter or scissors to get it open. Definitely nitpicky and not a big deal, but not the most luxury way to package this. The package includes two screen protectors that are blue, which I thought was interesting. None of the other packages had this, so it definitely stood out. There is a plastic business card that is quite durable to be so small and lightweight. Two cleaning kits that include a cleaning cloth, a sticker to remove dust, as well as an alcohol wipe. This is definitely one of the better dust removers I've used than other screen protectors I've tested that didn't have great ones. These are perfect. The installation process of the Bellamond Kent Paper Screen Protector is very simple and straightforward. The most frustrating thing, however, is the small cleaning cloth that they have in the package. It literally is half the size of what it should be. Since there are two separate cleaning kits in the package, I really wish they would have just combined the cleaning cloth size so that it could actually be something that you could use. While brushing away dust and fingerprints on the surface of the iPad Pro, I had to pinch my fingers to keep the cleaning cloth from sliding out of my hand and it was so annoying. The cleaning cloth is also pretty low quality, so if you have another cleaning cloth in your home laying around, I would suggest using that one. Applying the screen protector is very simple and easy with Belmond. There is a sticker indicating where to peel the screen protector apart from the blue surface. When laying the screen protector on the iPad, it was a bit different. Having to peel the sticker at the bottom versus the top Usually the screen protectors, the pill sticker is at the top, so it was a bit different, but lining everything up was super easy. It was probably one of the easier installation processes. I mean, it's a screen protector. How many instructions do we really need? I like how Bellamond really made it simple and the blue color also helps as well. There were a few air bubbles when I initially was laying the screen protector on the surface, but one thing I found when I was first laying the screen protector down is it's much easier to get air bubbles out from the start. So I took a bit of time using the business card like plastic in the package to move those air bubbles out. I did not get them all out, but I tried to get the majority of them out. One thing I may suggest is turning the iPad off during this process because the screen kept waking up as I was pressing the air bubbles out. I then peeled the blue surface off and voila. I started drawing on the iPad in Procreate and I immediately, I noticed the sketchbook paper feel of the screen protector. It's light years ahead of any of the screen protectors that I have previously tested. As far as delivering on that sketchbook paper feel, none of them come close at all and the sensation of paper that I felt with Bellamond was world class. I was able to do lines, swivels, and circles, anything you can imagine that you can do comfortably in a sketchbook. I was able to build my brush strokes up from light to dark very seamlessly, which is my favorite thing to do in a sketch. Most of all, because I do use my iPad for note taking, this is the best best experience I've ever had writing. My writing looks so treacherously horrible with other screen protectors that end up usually feeling more like a pen than writing with a pencil. But with Bellamond, it looks so good and I was able to control my lines. I was able to have the flow that felt exactly like pencil. This is paper. This is a sketchbook. It should be called paper-like because it is actually paper-like. 
When I was drawing, one of the things that came to my mind was that this feels great for sketching. It feels great for penciling in details, but when it comes to using this to paint and things like that, I started to feel that the painting element felt more like a colored pencil than a brush stroke. With this surface, you get the gritty grain type of texture and resistance, and it's amazing, but when it comes to painting, it's not my personal favorite. Some of the texture made sketching feel like I had a sketchbook. It was very detailed and almost a little bit rigid, which I like doing in a sketchbook, but I like to feel like I can do whatever I want to do with the iPad Pro. On the iPad, I really like being able to start sloppy and feel free and somehow with this texture, it felt that I had to start more accurate. Maybe this is due to me using the iPad for art a lot, but that is the way that I like to start my drawings. And I wasn't able to do it here. This may be a non-issue for those of you that really want to feel like you're drawing in your sketchbook, but I thought I would mention it. Although this definitely does deliver on that paper feel that I was looking for, I have found that I enjoy having a bit more freedom with my brush strokes and almost making it feel like Copic markers or truly a brush more than paper. I definitely think it depends on your style of drawing and the brushes that you use as well to really decide if this would be successful for you. But outside of painting or anything like that, if you're just drawing, it's amazing, fantastic, it's great, love it. If you're looking for the paper feel, this is it. No comparison, so far. Initially, I was really worried about this added texture. I immediately remembered the wear down from my Apple Pencil to the metal tip uh, from Paperlike. So if you haven't seen that video, please click this link above to see my horror story with Paperlike. But I was surprised to find that even though you can see my brush strokes in the screen protector, literally in it, as well as whatever notes that I had written, when you use the cleaning cloth, it makes them disappear completely. They're completely gone. And with Bellamond, I really appreciate that. It's like they were not even there, as if I had never used a screen protector. It was baffling to me that even with more texture, they still disappeared. I tried doing the same thing in hopes by some small chance that this would work with Paperlike, but no. All of the brush strokes and lines from note taking are literally etched into the screen protector. No matter how many times I use a cleaning cloth or use a different cleaning cloth from a different screen protector packaging, it's still there. Paper like marks are here to stay. These type of downsides really separate Paper Likes quality from brands like Bellamond. Putting Belmond on top in this comparison, providing the better texture, overall drawing experience, and the more durable screen protector of the two. What screen protector do you use? And after watching this video, will you try Belmond? Put it below in the comments. YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video next. See you over there.